airport tax. What's that for, sport? Importation tax. Welcome to Zangaro. What actually happens to these actors and where are they now? Hello there! When it comes to sourcing for hot topics and highly engaging entertainment just in Nigeria, you can always count on us. Thank you for subscribing and if you haven't, please go subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep you updated on the latest gist. In our previous video, we talked about some of the pioneer Nollywood actors and how they started their acting career, how they have been able to achieve success over the decades and their current stand in the industry. But the question is, what actually happens to these actors and where are they now? We have done our own research and this is what actually happens to these actors. The first on our list is Bob Manuel Udoku. My father has been a thorn in my flesh. I will not stop telling you about the throne. You should have considered me before embarking on this journey. As said in the previous video, Bob Manuel Udoku is one of the few veteran actors in Hollywood. His first appearance on set was in 1992 in a movie titled Living in Bondage. He also featured in top movies such as When the Sun Sets, Checkmate and other fantastic movies throughout his acting career. As a versatile person, Bob Manuel ventured into politics in the year 2010 and was appointed as a senior special assistant to the governor of Anambra state, Mr. Willie Obiano on creative media and has been busy in the political sector and behind the scenes of Nollywood ever since. Bob Manuel Udoku said he he is unique and never tired of bringing up new concepts. According to him, his talent and creativity is like that of a phoenix who always brings out something new. Despite all his achievements, he believes there is grounds yet to be covered and the best is yet to come. He's currently married with kids and has been actively involved in Hollywood till today. Next on the list is Saint Obi. As said in a previous video, Saint Obi is also a veteran Hollywood actor and producer. This tall handsome dude came into the limelight in the year 1995, featuring blockbusters such as Take Me to Mama, Can't Do Light, State of Emergency, and executive crime. He's also featured in top thrilling Hollywood movies, soap operas, and TV series. He's currently not actively involved in Hollywood. What could have gone wrong for a sudden disappearance from the TV screen? He recently said when he comes back, he'll revolutionize the Nigerian movie industry. Though he said that he didn't stop acting because the job stopped coming, this was the statement he made. As one grows older, you realize that you don't need to be in all the movies. If you have not been following my career as years went by, from doing 10 movies in a year, I reduced it to 6. I later reduced it to 1 per year because I felt it's not how many times you appear in a movie but how well you act. People call me all the time to come and feature in their movies but I always decline. My reasons are that as you move around you have other aspirations and other opportunities appear. In Igbo parlance, you don't watch a masquerade display in one spot. You have to move around to get a total view. Any smart person will take advantage of any opportunity that comes. There are a million and one businesses out there that align with what one's profession is. The dangotees of this world do a million businesses. They don't stick to one business and become who they are today. I didn't stop acting because jobs stopped coming but because I needed other things. However, I am still involved in the industry even though he's mostly behind the camera. On the list is Charles Okafo. Like we all know, Charles Okafo is one of the most popular actors in Nigeria. He's very talented and also an interesting character to watch out for in the Nigerian movie industry. Charles Okafo became famous in 1996 when he featured in a highly demanding movie titled Domitila. He quickly rose to stardom after appearing in movies such as Computer Girls, Abuja Boys, and Executive Connection. He has featured in more than 300 Nollywood movies such as End of the Wicked, Conspiracy, Blood Billionaires, Executive Connection, World of Riches, Tomorrow Lives Again, Superhero, Abuja Boys, King of the Forest, Price of the Wicked, Forest of Promises, and Billionaires Club, just to mention a few. But recently, Charles Okafor decided to stay low-key in the Nollywood industry. Research reveals that he quit acting for God's Calling in the year 2013. Here's what he said, I've been lying low for a while because I diverted into advocacy and human angle films as a consequence of my newfound faith. I'm still a career actor and a filmmaker, but I'm mindful of the script I do. A time comes in the life of any professional when he sits back and takes stock of his professional issues and the legacy he wants to leave behind from the spiritual standpoint of view. You cannot just do any kind of film anymore if you're going to be the light to the nations of the world. We must be seen in the context of things that glorify God in totality. 
I'm driven to advocacy films because they address social issues, human angle and spiritual issues that borders on the kingdom. That explains why I might not be as visible as I was some years back. You see, you cannot eat your cake and still have it. You cannot serve God and serve mammon. You must clearly define where you stand. I've put my hands to the plow so I shouldn't look back, but that doesn't remove the fact that I'm still a career actor and a filmmaker. The man we have here next is Tony Umez. The Anambra born handsome and highly talented actor started his acting career in the year 1993. Because of his attractive and prominent lifestyle, he always plays the role of a responsible father or lover boy in most movies. But what really happened to Tony Imez? Is he still active in Hollywood? Some of his fans are keen on knowing if he is still active in Hollywood. Yes, he is still active to date. The handsome veteran actor said he hasn't been missing on screen. He said he is back on track, though he hasn't been as prolific as he used to be in the past. He said he has been involved in other projects. In conclusion, the Hollywood actor may never officially quick acting and still comes in and out of the movie scene when he likes. In fact, not too long ago in 2017, he appeared in the movie's 16th anniversary. Next is Pat Atta. Who is Pat Atta? Pat Atta is a popular Nollywood actor, director, producer, television personality, model, musician, guitarist, and philanthropist and has featured in so many movies ranging from glamour girls to jealous lovers to love from above. He has been featured in several Nollywood movies. All of a sudden, his presence is not felt in Nollywood compared to before. Research reveals that Pat Atta decided to go low-key all these years until a couple of years ago when he released a music video for a song titled Sunshine. The actor is currently based in Germany and his fans miss seeing him play the lover boy on their screens. I know you as well as I do. Shegwan Rinze If you're truly a fan of Shegwan Rinze, you know that he's not currently active in Nollywood, though he recently took some roles in Yoruba movies. The former president of the Actors Guild of Nigeria said he is hoping to see a great revolution in Nollywood this year. That tells you he's not active unlike before. <laughs> Ernest Asuzu Ernest Asuzu started his career in entertainment as a songwriter and a rapper before venturing into acting. Before playing an active role in an interesting movie titled Another Campus Queen, he became famous and went on to act in many blockbusters such as Dirty Game, Death Warrant, and Formidable Force. What happened to Ernest Asuzu? In 2015, Ernest had a stroke and then later on in 2017, he came out to say that Nollywood is evil and heavily relies on charms. According to his recent interview, this is what he said, I am not a pastor, but I intend to be a pastor to preach gospel. I know it is not easy to be a pastor, but I'll tell you if God calls me, I would answer. I will either be a pastor or a prophet, but I'm begging them, that is Nollywood actors and actresses, to leave evil alone. Evil does not pay anybody. They inflicted me with a stroke, but I did not feel I had a stroke for one day. So if God chooses me as his vessel, I will say, here I am, send me. I want Nollywood to get closer to God because the time we're now is evil. I'm not angry, but I don't like the way they treat human beings. What I don't like about the practitioners is their heavy dependence and trust in charms. They should leave charms alone and turn to God, the ultimate solution to all their challenges. Here comes the dawn of Nollywood, Richard Moffat Dami Joe, popularly known as RMD. Anyone that says veteran actor Richard Morfet Damijo is, is currently not active in Nollywood is telling lies. RMD is still very much relevant in Nollywood and has been the king of the screen since the 1990s to date. RMD is a legend in the Nigerian movie industry and has been actively involved in soap operas, TV series and other entertaining movies. He's currently featured in a TV series titled Hush. RMD is still ticking Nollywood after his contemporaries have semi-retired and faded out of relevance. Struggle for independence called for boldness and bravery. Zark Orji Zark Orji is an icon in Nollywood. Zark Orji has featured in over 250 Nollywood movies, some of which include Above Death, Unforgiven Sins, Glamour Girls, Games Women Play, Zonal Leader, All My Life, Head Gone, Three Wise Men, Benson's Villa, Half of the Yellow Sun, Bridge of No Return, Mama Africa, Heritage, The Bridge, Woman's Court, Payday, Blood Money, just to mention a few. Where is Zark Orji currently? Zach Orji is working as a minister of God in one of the big congregations in Nigeria. After he was ordained reverend in 2012 by Bishop Lawrence Osage of Power Line Bible Church, the handsome actor has not looked back in his quest to work in the vineyard of God. Since then, Zach has functioned more as a minister of God than his face has adorned the screen again. Nollywood veteran actor Zach Orji has been away from the movie industry for a while now. You 
I will be forced to have your head. This man Elliot. This man Elliot is currently a politician representing Suru Lere constituency under the All Progressive Congress Party in Lagos State. He has featured in over 200 films and several television shows and soap operas. He won the Best Supporting Actor in a Drama at the Second African Magic Viewers Choice Awards and was nominated for the Best Supporting Actor at the 10th African Movie Academy Awards. According to his recent interview, Desmond said combining acting with politics has been challenging and frustrating for him, but he has found a way around it. He recently stood for his constituency when he used to protest him for ending SARS and police brutality. He is more involved in politics. I'm going to ask you one question. And if your answer is no, I'm going to walk out that door. Sam Dede Sam Dede is a top-class Nollywood actor that graced Nigerians with great movies like Isakaba, Igodo, and Mission to Nowhere. His sudden absence from Nollywood was as a result of his appointment as the Director General of River State Tourism Development Agency RSTDA, in 2015. In 2018, Sam returned to the screen in the movie titled Kamsi and acted in the series The State in 2019. Kanayo O Kanayo Kanayo Kanayo, the veteran actor and icon, is popular for his role in movies for his money ritual act, which most of the times involved his family. The great actor first featured in the 1992 blockbuster movie titled Living in Bondage and since then found a footing in the Nollywood film industry. However, there was a turn of events as the veteran actor has been found severally sharing the word of God with congregations. He built and constructed his dream home in his village a couple of years back. The veteran actor recently bagged a degree in law from the University of Abuja. According to findings, the veteran actor actor said he can't act in a movie that does not have a good storyline and social relevance. Olu Jacobs Olu Jacobs is one of the most respected veteran Nollywood actors. The 78-year-old actor is recognized as an icon by his fans, who call him Uncle Olu. While he has made over 120 movies in Nigeria, his 40-year career began in Britain where he ran away from his Nigerian home to study acting. Olu Jacobs is a mentor in Nollywood while others see him as an advisor. Despite his age, he sees himself as a youth and has been actively involved in human rights issues. What is Olu Jacobs currently doing? Olu Jacobs is currently not active in the Nigerian movie industry. I hope he has not uh, stopped the check that was issued to us from one of the companies we're working on. <sighs> and that's it for today's gist. If you enjoyed this video, comment down below your thoughts, give this a like, share with your friends, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to keep you updated for more latest celebrity news from Nigel Gist.